man, the Albaz Strike Structure Deck is looking absolutely delicious. Don't beg 30% of you guys have not smashed the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 104,000. So, multiple leaks came out last night referencing the Albaz Strike Structure Deck. And, you know, what we really expected out of the Structure Deck was very good solid reprints. You know, it goes from the past to is really the next reprint window for this. And the Structure Deck solidly gave us everything that we knew we were going to get. And to those of you that are like, oh, where's the Aluba reprint? There's no way. Kami's gonna put a Luber in the structure deck, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't in the OCG product, all right? People actually out here thought that they were gonna change that up, and I'm, I'm laughing at you, because there was no reason for Konami to put those cards in the structure deck, because they weren't in the original product in the OCG here. So straight off the bat, the one change was what? Ice Dragon's Prison came out and we put Warning Point in the deck. Okay, which means we got all the standard stuff that we knew. Fallen of Albaz is a common in here. Floor Delise is now a common, which, very nice. Red MD printing in common. Posterata is fine. And then you got double Kaijus in here. You have Chaos Dragon Levianir. Scythe made his way in here, which, well, uh, that might mean that Dagda is going to be the one that's going to find themselves out of the game here, depending on how that goes. We got Baby Dragon reprints, Starly Save Fort reprinting, and Brotar, actually. Both of those, actually, Starly Chaos Dragon and Brotar all being huge reprints, ladies and gentlemen, for, yes, the structure deck. That's amazing, right? Dragon Link got some big hits here. Budget players get Ogre and Effect Failure reprints, which I, I think are pretty good. Brand Infusions in here, which we've seen. Um, just kind of going through the line here. Gold Sark and then Pot of Extra. Pot of Extra getting a reprint here is very, very good, ladies and gentlemen. This structure deck gives so much breathing room to budget Flunder. Like, it's good as long as Mega Ryza gets the reprint later on this year and goes from the past, that'll be just you're good to go. I mean, minus like prosperities, but I think compensate with extra. Dark Roller No More getting a second reprint as well. You know what? Konami really, I think overall, looking at like the structure, again, uh, there can only be one and Dimension Barrier down there as well. But overall, looking at this structure deck in terms of like budget player perspective, extra, the, K, the, the Dragon Link stuff. All right, the fact that you can have the mini branded package being splashed, well, yes, you don't have to play a Lubers. It's one of the cool things about this engine is you can splash into a whole wide range of decks here and get massive results with it. And I, I think it's one of the things that really carries this structure deck on its back, ladies and gentlemen, is just the value that's really present. You know, even all the way like through the Kaiju department, this structure deck is absolutely hot fire. So guys, what do you think about the Albaz Strike? Spoiler down here. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. See you guys when we have more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.